Ever wonder who owns Craftsman Tools? How about Milwaukee, Mac Tools, or Skillsaw? It may surprise you to know that only a handful of companies own your favorite power tool manufacturers. That's right, most tool brands fall under a parent company which also controls additional brands. We break it down for you with logos. I can't include every tool company in this video, to be honest, I just don't have that kind of time. I will, however, do my best to include as many tool brand parent companies as possible, starting with Stanley Black & Decker. Stanley Black & Decker, or SBD, turned heads when it bought Craftsman Tools in 2017 after Sears closed 235 stores just two years earlier. The company owns many brands. However, dating back to 1843 with a man named Frederick Stanley, the company quickly formed its roots. In 2010, it merged with another company which started back in 1910, Black & Decker. As of 2017, the company maintains a $7.5 billion business in tools and storage alone. SBD brands include DeWalt, Stanley, Black & Decker, Bostitch, Craftsman, Vidmar, Mac Tools, Irwin, Lennox, Proto, Porter Cable, Powers Fasteners, Lista, Sidchrome, and Mglow. TTI. As it turns out, TTI owns Milwaukee Tool and a host of other power tool companies. It also licenses the Rigid and Ryobi names for cordless power tools. Emerson owns Rigid. TTI stands for Tektronic Industries Company Limited, or TTI Group. Founded in 1985 in Hong Kong, TTI sells tools all over the world and employs over 22,000 people. TTI is listed on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange and had worldwide annual sales of over $6 billion in 2017. Their brands include Milwaukee Electric Tool Company, Ryobi, which is licensed, Rigid Power Tools under license, these are the orange Rigid Tools, not the red Emerson Tools, Empire Level, Hoover, Dirt Devil, Auric, Stiletto Tools, Heart Tools, Home Life, Vax, and AEG. Shervon North America. In 2017, Shervon acquired Skill Power Tools brands from Bosch. This added two big brands to their portfolio. Skillsaw and Skill. Shervon started its Power Tools business unit back in 1993, launching the Ego brand of cordless outdoor power equipment in 2013. In 2018, the company rebranded Skill, including the logo, and announced new 12-volt and 20-volt cordless power tools. Today, Shervon tools and products are sold by more than 30,000 stores in 65 countries. Shervon manufactures the following brands, Ego, Skillsaw, Skill, Flex, Devon, Extron, Comdura, and Cobalt's 24-volt tools for Lowe's. Robert Bosch Tool Corporation. First off, Bosch Tools only represents part of the Bosch Group, which includes Robert Bosch GmbH and over 350 subsidiaries across more than 60 countries. In 2003, Robert Bosch GmbH combined its North American Power Tool and Power Tool Accessory divisions into one organization forming Robert Bosch Tool Corporation in North America. The company designs, manufactures, and sells power tools, rotary and oscillating tools, power tool accessories, laser and optical leveling devices, and range finding tools all over the globe. Bosch manufactures the following tools. Bosch, Freud, Diablo, Dremel, Rotozip, Vermont American, and CST Burger. Husqvarna Group. Husqvarna Group manufactures chainsaws, trimmers, robotic lawnmowers, and ride-on lawnmowers. The group also makes garden watering products as well as cutting equipment and diamond tools for the construction and stone industries. They've got a presence in more than 100 countries and employ over 13,000 people in 40 countries. Husqvarna Group owns the following tool brands. Husqvarna, Poulon Pro, Weed Eater, John Sered, Clippo, Zenoa, Gardena, Diamant Board, Flymo and McCulloch. JPW Industries. JPW owns several large brands, including Jet, Powermatic, and Wilton, hence the name. The company has its headquarters in Laverne, Tennessee, but also has operations in Switzerland, Germany, Russia, France, Taiwan, and China. They sell products in 20 countries throughout the world. Their tool brands include Jet, Powermatic, Wilton, Edwards, Promac, Tool Air, and GYS. Apex Tool Group, or ATG. Apex Tool Group has its headquarters in Sparks, Maryland, and employs more than 8,000 workers. 
They operate in over 30 countries throughout North and South America, Europe, Australia, and Asia. Annual revenues exceed $1.4 billion on the sale of hand tools, power tools, and electronics tools for the industrial, automotive, aerospace, and construction DIY markets. The following tool brands belong to Apex Tool Group. Weller, Wiss, GearWrench, Crescent, Lufkin, Jobbox, Apex, Campbell, Nicholson, Jacobs, Exolite, Masterpower, Belzer, HKP, Seda, Dotco, and Clico. There'd be two more if both Armstrong and Allen hadn't been shut down in 2017. Emerson. Headquartered in St. Louis, Missouri, Emerson manufactures products in the industrial, commercial, and residential markets. While TTI licenses the rigid name for power tools, Emerson controls the following tools among others. The Red Rigid Tools, Greenlee, Insincorator, Emerson, Sensi, Proteam, and Clout. Those are some of the larger tool groups. However, many more tool groups and companies control additional brands and companies as well. For example, TTS, or Tool Technic Systems. So based in Wendlington, Germany, TTS, or Tool Technic, owns Festool, Thanos, not to be confused with the guy who destroyed half the universe, Narex, Sawstop, and now Shaper Tools. TTS is truly behind the scenes as it doesn't really appear to have its own website, at least not in the U.S., or even an official logo. Yamibico. Yamibico Corporation started in 2008 and has three core business segments, outdoor power equipment, agricultural machinery, and industrial machinery. Based in Japan, Yamibico is a global company with major markets in Japan and North America and a growing presence in Europe and Asia. Tool brands include Shindawa and Echo. KKR. Kohlberg, Kravis, Roberts & Co. KKR manages private equity, energy, infrastructure, real estate, and more. In 2017, they acquired Hitachi Koki. Previously, Hitachi had purchased Mataba. Now KKR owns Haikoki, formerly Hitachi Koki, Mataba HPT, formerly Hitachi Power Tools, and Mataba. Fortiv. Washington-based Fortiv, a diversified industrial growth company, includes a multitude of professional instrumentation and industrial technology businesses. Fortiv employs over 22,000 people in more than 50 countries around the world. Their numerous brands include Fluke, Matco Tools, Tektronix, and Keithley, among others. Werner Company Worldwide. Werner Co. manufactures and distributes ladders, climbing equipment, and ladder accessories under various brands. They also manufacture and sell fall protection products and job site, truck, and van storage equipment. The full lineup includes Werner, Knack, WeatherGuard, Keller, and Greenbull. ITW, Illinois Tool Works. Founded over 100 years ago, ITW manufactures specialized industrial equipment, tools, and consumables. ITW operates in 57 countries with over 50,000 employees. They also have more than 17,000 granted and pending patents. ITW brands include Passload, Duofast, Ramset, Redhead, Tapcon, Bernard, Miller, Hobart, Trigiscus, ITW Buildex, TechSwipe, Deltar, and Alpine, an ITW company. Ideal Industries. Now, in 1916, J. Walter Becker apparently started the Ideal Commutator Dresser Company of Chicago from his mother's kitchen. More than 100 years later, Ideal Industries serves technicians and workers globally. They serve electrical, construction, aerospace, and even automotive markets. You'll likely recognize several of their brands. Ideal Electrical, Anderson Power Products, Casella, SK Professional Tools, and Odyssey. Sunrise Global Marketing. Well, they manufacture Greenworks and Greenworks Pro Tools. Positech Group. Positech started in 1994 as an OEM manufacturer. Today, they own the Rockwell and Works brands. So what about Hilti and Makita? Well, Hilti and Makita are just Hilti and Makita. They don't have subsidiary companies. They're not underneath anybody, and they don't have a parent company over them. It's pretty impressive the market share each of them enjoy with just one brand. Finally, how about those house brands at the big box stores and home improvement warehouses? Note that many, if not all of these brands, represent ODM or OEM solutions. That means tools get specified by the store but executed by another manufacturer. In other scenarios, tools are offered to a retailer and then manufactured in bulk upon acceptance of a buyer's order. So, Home Depot's house brands, that's Husky, manufactured by Stanley Black & Decker, Western Forge, Apex Tool Group, Iron Bridge Tools, and others, and also HDX. Lowe's house brands include Cobalt Tools, 
of the 24 volt power tools are made by Sherman and Blue Hawk. Menard's house brands. Now those include Master Force and possibly Grip Fast, Perform Axe, and Tool Shop. We don't actually have any of those stores around here, so we're not 100% sure. While you may have thought you knew who owned all those power tool manufacturers, consolidation has changed the playing field. By far, Stanley Black & Decker demonstrates the largest buyout pattern. Companies like TTI, Apex Tool Group, ITW, and others also enjoy adding to their numbers. Finally, if we missed any tool mergers or acquisitions, please leave us a comment on this video. We want to stay updated. That's a much harder task than we ever imagined. Be sure to subscribe, like, and or follow us for more great tool reviews and news, and check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.